We started with Italy, moved to France, and today we are finally at our new stop, Spain. I don't know about you guys, but I've always felt like Spain was quite underrated when it comes to luxury fashion. Even though its leather quality is on par with Italy and France, it is rare to see its name mentioned alongside these glorified countries in the context of high fashion. Today, we will give Spain the love and praise it deserves by going through three Spanish mid-range luxury handbags and how to style them with the spring season. So without further ado, let's dive in. First, we should talk about Iriarte Iriarte. I hear people talk about this brand here and there, but never at the amount it deserves. Iriarte Iriarte has a very modern and youthful design to it. In fact, I feel like it's one of the best brands for students to carry on. I mean, none of your books would fit into these designs, but they are the perfect choice to have on the weekends when having a chill afternoon with friends. But of course, if you're a youthful spirit and energy like me, the brand is perfect for you too. The brands are like the perfect mix of the dark academia aesthetics with the preppy vibes. And weirdly, this combination makes me feel both someone like Blair Waldorf and Hermione Granger can rock Ariarte Ariarte handbags. The brand has been around since 2009 and is making its handbags with traditional techniques. They are all handmade and hand painted, which makes them so unique and precious. And of course, they are made by Spanish cow leather. For today's video, I picked their small crossbody bag in the color blue. I really like the silhouette of this bag. Like on the one hand, it seems like your regular crossbody bag, kind of like a camera bag actually. But on the other hand, it has a very unique look with that baklava shaped surface. I also really like the flowery inside of the bag. It is so cute. It also comes with an adjustable strap, which is a must have in almost all handbags in my opinion. I think the blue one captures the spirit of spring perfectly, so it is the best fit for today's video, though I like all the colors that the handbag comes in. They have a muted nature to them, which is something I appreciate as it makes it all seem very natural regardless of the color itself. Now, when I look at this handbag, all I can see is dresses. And I mean all kinds of dresses from the shirt dress to the casual plain cotton dresses. The handbag has a more casual vibe, but not necessarily in a way that would limit us on the most casual outfits ever. So I feel like this shirt dress from Sandro might be a really good choice to combine it with. I adore the pattern of this dress and I feel like it's a very versatile option that can be dressed up or down depending on your mood. I also really like this cotton baby doll dress. I feel like these dresses are staples in everyone's spring wardrobe and it is for a good reason. They're comfortable, versatile, and easy to wear. I also really like the color of this particular dress and feel like it would be perfect to match our blue bag. But today I'm more in a flowery mood so I will go with the Sandro dress. As for shoes, I have two options from Cause. The first one is these ballet flats. We all know the ballet flats are everywhere these days and don't get me wrong, I love them. But I also kind of get bored with the regular styles, which is why when I saw these ones in Cause, it was love at first sight. I think they're both chic and comfortable, perfect for a spring summer wardrobe. They also feel really versatile. The other option is these cream loafers, which are classics and timeless for sure. However, today I'm craving some feminine chic look, so I'll go with the ballet flats. If you get really chilly at night, you can also grab this dainty cardigan from Massimo Duty and call it a day. Here's our final look. Which items would you combine this handbag with? Our next brand is Paris 64. I know, hearing the name of Paris in a Spanish themed video is a bit confusing but the brand's founder couple was apparently obsessed with Paris and took their inspiration from the city. They have been working on a brand since 2019 and I feel like they've been doing a great job. They have a lot, I mean a lot of handbag designs to choose from, but my favorite is none other than the Prismatic handbag. I don't know about you guys, but this handbag reminds me of Laurel Piana's viral pocket bag and I love that it's for a fraction of the price. It has a unique boxy shape, a top handle and a crossbody strap. So perfect for both everyday and travel. For today's video, I picked the taupe as I believe it is a timeless color that suits every season and outfit. The handbag is made out of rigid cowhide leather. It is a colorful interior, which is something I appreciate in my warmer weather handbags. Now, once again, I'm creating dresses. I know, I know I'm a bit too much, but I love dresses in spring and I can't help it. Once again, I'm looking at Cotton and Sandro as they are two of my favorite brands for dresses. From Cotton, I'm obsessed with this red hamama dress. I mean, just look at it. I don't think it needs a lot of words or explanations. The dress speaks for itself. Thankfully though, Sandro also has a great option for us, so competition is high. 
This is an amazing deity dress that screams spring to me. It is so elegant, so feminine, and so me. Oh, this will be a difficult one, you guys. I love them both. How can I settle on one? Okay, pause the video now and write in the comments which dress you would go with and come back to see if I choose that one. Hmm, huh. I think for now, I will go with the cotton dress just to balance out the previous outfit. <laughs> okay, I think this red dress is perfect with our toe pan bag. As for shoes, I have two options from M. Gemini. The first one is this Lucinda shoe. I especially like the black mesh one. I feel like the mesh part gives a more summery, springy, chill vibe to the shoe, even though the shoe itself is undeniably chic and elegant. Now, if we want to dress down our outfit even more though, these Medeo sandals and the color latte are perfect in my opinion. And I feel like I'll go with the second option today, simply to make the outfit more suitable for every day. This is the final look. Did you like it? Our third brand is another youthful one, Paloma Wool. I feel like Paloma Wool's designs are the most modern ones in today's list. They're dynamic, functional, and very chill silhouettes that would be great for any modern girly who likes to grab her handbags and go without little to no worries. Now, I don't have a lot of information about the brand, unfortunately. All I know is they're a project which is about, and I quote, about getting dressed and the space and ideas that are created around the act of getting dressed. This might be the coolest definition of any project I've ever read. Now, they have a lot of options when it comes to handbags, but my favorite is their bean handbag. They are cute, spacious, and have a lot of color options. They are made out of genuine leather and come with two straps, one for shoulder and one for crossbody. For this video, I decided to go with this yellow mini bean handbag simply because I'm in love with the color, and I think it'll be fun to style with you guys. Okay, I don't know about you guys, but I always associate spring with cardigans. So when I saw this deity from Massimo Duty, I fell in love right then and there. I feel like they are perfect blouses that are chic and elegant, but also seem effortless. Also, the color gray would look amazing with this bag. But I also really like the jackets from Cause, and I feel like they are perfect spring wardrobe staples. Hmm, yet another difficult pick for me. I feel like I've been letting you guys down with every single one of these picks. <laughs> I feel like going with the cause jacket is the right move here, simply because it gives us more options to style. As a t-shirt inside, we can go with my favorites from Uniqlo, these crop tank tops that comes with padding inside. We can go with the color gray, simply because I love gray and yellow together. But we can also go with this fun Johnny shirt. Like the design and color are perfect for the youthful look that I'm going for. Yeah, yeah, I think we're gonna go with Johnny. As for pants, I'm conflicted between either these gray wide leg jeans from Soiree or these wool pants from Cause. I really like the silhouette of both of these pants, but I think jeans are the safer option here. Since we already took so many risks, let's go with the safe one for once. <laughs> as far as the shoes are concerned, I think we can either go with a plain cool sneaker like these Reebok ones, or something more juicy, more fun, like these J. Crew ankle strap heels. Okay, I know this might cause drama, and I just said I want to remain in the safe zone, but I'll go with the heels. I can't help it, you guys. They look so cool. Look, the color combination in this outfit is to die for. I can't wait to recreate it with the items in my own wardrobe. What do you think of the final look? Would you wear it? Which one of these Spanish handbag brands is your favorite? Also, which outfit I came up with do you like or dislike the most? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.